and i was like hey bro have you taken the right decision you have already resigned from accenture and you are sitting in a position where the college is not giving you admission earlier i was a commerce student like in 11 12th i took commerce after that i did bachelor's in commerce this is something unique about me and after uh, completing my graduation that is bcom i worked in accenture for one year as an accounting associate over there currently i am working in an it firm i am already having a two years gap so i had this thing in my mind ki like uh, pavan you have two years of gap and companies will definitely question you about this thing that you have two years gap so we won't consider you and definitely some companies have rejected me like you won't believe accenture where i worked for one year they have rejected my application just because i had two years of year I gap completed the form I... and within one minute i got the rejection mail hi welcome to my channel so let's get started with your introduction uh my name is pavan kumar patel i'm basically from jabalpur it's in madhya pradesh currently i am working in an it firm and i am a grad i am a post graduate in mca i have graduated in two, uh, post graduated in 2022 only uh earlier i was a commerce student like in 11 12th i took commerce after that i did bachelor's in commerce this is something unique about me and after uh completing my graduation that is bcom i worked in accenture for one year as an accounting associate over there and after there like when i was working in uh, i was in bangalore city over there so you know bangalore is a city of it professionals and everyone yeah. is like talking about it 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 no one is talking about accounting financials all those things and i was quite interested in coding as well because like when i was in class 11 12th i had an optional subject which was ip there i had studied about java database networking and all those things so i was quite interested in that and uh, when i was working in accenture right so i had just a plan like uh, why shouldn't i change my domain like i am working in accounting but it's not mm-hmm. having a much scope in that like in terms of salary in terms of growth everything it's not good and i can see in bangalore it professionals are like they are having both the pockets full of money so i thought yeah. let's change something and mm-hmm. let's go and do mca so it's 2020 i resigned from accenture and i went to chandigarh university from where i have done my masters of computer application so about mca so it's it's a two years program for me from 2020 uh, 2020 it's changed to two years earlier it was three years for non technical graduates mm. so in two years i've studied everything all the concepts like in the first year i i had studied all languages like i studied c language i skipped c++ because it it's not in my it's not my interest level i know mm. java already so mm. i then switched to java and i have studied the dsa books concepts all in java language and then i moved to python as well we must have some uh, information on latest technologies and latest languages as well so studied all these languages studied all those things which is necessary for an interview like i was doing mc side by side but my main focus was ki i need to study according to my placement only because next year the placement is going to come and anyhow i need to crack it because although i am already having a two years gap like in 2018 i completed my graduation and then two years was a year gap where in one year i worked for accenture so i had this thing in my mind ki like uh, pavan you have two years of gap and companies will definitely question you about this thing that you have two years gap so we won't consider you and definitely some companies have rejected me like you won't believe accenture where i worked for one year they have rejected my application just because i had two years of year gap they don't know i have worked one year in their company only my god <laughs> they rejected me yeah this was something and you won't believe like uh, in placement na when accenture came to our campus so we have to fill the form right I had completed the form, and within one minute, I got the rejection mail. That hey, you have two years year gap, so we can't consider you. And I was like, hey, I worked in your company. I am an alumni of the company, and you have done doing such things with me. Uh, so I was like, okay, leave it. Yeah, some other company will come, and I'll go with there. So Accenture rejected me, Cognizant rejected me, Wipro rejected me, and some small companies were also there, like uh, based out of Gurugram and Noida. They were they had also rejected me. But I was like, okay, leave it. Yeah, some company will. Right, uh, I feel that I was quite uh, lucky enough that uh, Deloitte came to our campus, and uh, what all things Deloitte is asking from a uh, like college student, I already have all those skills. So. luckily i cracked the interview like there was two round like one is the exam and the second is interview 
I cracked it and luckily I got the internship from them. I salute you. You are an inspiration. <laughs> yes, Lee. Like, yes. if you want to do anything, you can definitely do that. I'm having something... goosebumps. Can you believe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally having that. You know what? It's what is inspiring that your quick response about like with your career, you have just responded very quickly. You did not waste yeah. your time. and just taking risk and switching your entire journey like from graduations doing accounting to a different domain yeah uh, uh i said i was a commerce graduate right so commerce thing teach you one thing that you must be a risk taker because there are very limited options for commerce graduates yeah right so we need to do a lot of hustle and bustle like if you want to go to a good path you need to do a lot of things so i knew one thing that if you really want to do something now you have to put your efforts and if you are putting your efforts one day the result is definitely going to come in your favor that is something which always motivated me okay then you did like there was any problem while applying for mca because you yeah, were a lot of a lot of you won't believe there was one time like uh, in 2020 right when the lockdown was there the initial first time lockdown was there so mm. earlier i had the plans that i need to take admission to the jain university which is in bangalore right mm. and uh, before lockdown i went to that university and they said yeah everything okay from your side we will give you the admission mm. but uh, there is one change happened in that year that mca was converted to two years program and uh, there is something which is mathematics was made compulsory that either you have must have studied mathematics in your uh, 11 12th or it must be in your graduation like earlier the uh, eligibility criteria was quite similar but simple but uh, now they have changed a lot so when i applied for jain university they said we ca- cannot consider you because you don't have mathematics then i applied for pes university in bangalore they have again rejected my application then it was like uh, covid was there we were i was in bangalore right at that point of time and i was like hey bro have you taken the right decision you have already resigned from accenture and you are sitting in a position where the college is not giving you admission and it's locked and you can't even go out so what is the next thing you can do and i was like ki uh, okay no issues just calm down first of all no need to uh, take that much uh, pressure on that whatever is happening it's happening for some good cause only don't don't be panic so what i started is that we were in home i just started my research that all over the in- india whatever the universities are having and they are offering mc just contact them any one university will be fine for me any university any grade college will be fine for me because i was sure i need to do mc any how means any how from any university so luckily i got chandigarh university that they said ki we'll conduct one exam for you if you uh, pass in that examination it's a, a, a aptitude examination and that uh, quite computer and mathematics basics question were there if you crack that we'll give you the admission and luckily i was able to crack that and then they said you were not having mathematics so now what we'll do we'll uh, uh, have a one month of crash course type of thing which mm-hmm. which was known as bridge course at that point of time mm-hmm. so you'll uh, continue with that bridge course once it is done we'll give you the uh, admission so i had completed that bridge course and even i passed that bridge course as well and l- luckily i got the admission into chandigarh university and i'm really thankful to chandigarh university that no one has given me the admission in the entire india but that university is there which has given me the admission so i'm really thankful for chandigarh university and there is one more thing uh, like uh, when i resigned from accenture so i had my uh, that profile in uh, linkedin and nokri.com yeah so i just resigned from there and i have mentioned that i have resigned i have 11 11 months of experience over there you won't believe in lockdown 2020 when people are leaving the job i was getting an offer from infosys that hey we are having an opening for the profile which you have worked for for that accounting associate so are you uh, like uh, interested in that profile i said uh, no i'm not interested like uh, i said no, that when no one was giving me admission <laughs> so one thought came to my mind that pavan shall i go to accent uh, shall i go to infosys now if you are not ge- getting the admission then what is the next thing you are going to do so i was like okay just give the in- interview in infosys and uh, keep it as a backup option if you are not getting admission go to infosys simple and i had just given the infosys interview with no mind with no preparation and i got selected 
whatever he's asking me and i'm giving the answers because i have worked for that in excellence mm. and yeah, they have yeah. selected me and they have selected me and i was like pavan what is happening in your life <laughs> you have not prepared for interview and you yeah. have got selected and the thing which you are which you want to do mca you are not getting that mca just tell me about your journey in mca like your preparation strategy as you said you were preparing according to the company so how good you were at you know and encoding that time in programming obviously it was everything was new to you so how did you grasp those things because already they were competitive for you who have already done their graduations in um, computer and they were doing mca they are already master so how did you tackle that situation yeah so i'll start like uh, first of all uh, in my mca there were a lot of students who were from bca or bsc yeah i was the only one who was from commerce background i am the only one so i had this thing in my mind ki you are unique and you have to do something great right something different from others what others are doing mm. and uh, in 2020 like my mca had started in the month of august like actual mca started in august what i did is before that before my mca is going to start i had a knowledge about java which i studied in 11 12th and some database mysql and all those things in lockdown when people are watching netflix and google that prime and all those things i was working on sql i was making a revision of sql and has done completed java like basic core java mm. ki like you must be enough to write the code you must have enough knowledge to write the code then what i did is that there was a person like uh, of our college he suggested me that he knew that i was also from commerce and he thought i would not i am not having much knowledge about computers so he told me that pavan you should start with c language if you know c language na you will you will be able to study uh, you will be able to study any language in future very easily mm-hmm. so i thought okay let's start with c language i already know java so you know if you know c java c++ going to be very easy for you mm-hmm. and i finished c language in just 3 to 4 days just 3 to 4 days because i know java and everything is feeling like yaar this is so easy c language it's nothing so in 3 to 4 days before my mca has started i completed c language i completed java i completed my sql then what i did is that when my mca started so definitely it was online start classes for us so mm-hmm. half days like uh, we have to study the colleges college subject whatever they are having mm-hmm. the good part is they are also having those same subjects like java my sql you know mm-hmm. cloud computing and all those things which i was really interested into yeah so i thought okay let's study from here and side by side once this uh, study uh, that college is finishing you will mm-hmm. be studying on your own mm-hmm. and uh, in the later part of the day i used to study from youtube there are a lot of channel which i had subscribed mm-hmm. so from every channel from somewhere i'm studying oops concept from somewhere i'm studying like java i'm mm-hmm. studying advanced java and i had actually made a plan ki mm-hmm. what exactly i need to do i'll show you one thing can i show this see this paper over here yeah, this paper yeah. stuck here from last 3 years you know from 2020 is still stuck here it has all those things which is necessary to go into an it firm it has all the complete road map in that paper i have still that paper in front of my table like now it is in the I back i like to see so that i used to like see that share, paper would you like to share that screenshot the image of the paper <laughs> uh actually I, i'll i'll send no, you the picture if it is yeah a, yeah i would like to post it <laughs> show it to the uh, you, know. you, you can uh, i'll share uh, cop, uh, click the picture and i'll send it to you you can definitely use that yeah it has all those necessary things which are there like what languages you need to study what algorithm you need to study what data structures you need to study what projects you have to make what technologies you must have you must have to study and what aptitude reasoning english things you need to study everything is there in that paper right so i was studying according to that paper okay this algorithm is done this data structure is done java is completed c is completed okay that's fine let's move to another topic let's go and search for some youtube good content over there whatever you are, you want to study just go there and study from there so this is how i have completed my entire that first year because i knew from second year the companies are going to come and second year onwards you were not having enough time to study you know mm-hmm. so uh, like there are two types uh, two phases were there in my first year first semester and second semester so first semester was something i was studying from my home only then i was like i faced one issue over there ki in coding na you need peers 
at least you need some friends who yes. are good in coding which will definitely help you yes correct there was something i'm not good into coding much i had basic understanding but i was not capable enough to solve those hacker rank questions or lead code questions right so mm-hmm. what i did like i planned to move to chandigarh for few months till my placement is done so i just uh, had i have one one of my friend he's also from that bc bcs background mm-hmm. so we we both moved in to chandigarh and we've started our preparation again so mm-hmm. i was not good in coding and he was good in coding i mm-hmm. was good in aptitude he was not good in aptitude so mm-hmm. we both used to teach each other uh, teach each other you teach me coding i'll teach you aptitude reasoning and all those things how to present an interview all those things i knew so we used to exchange our thoughts exchange our all those studies we we used to do over there in chandigarh right so again we make a plan over there ki mm-hmm. one day i'll be studying hoops concept mm-hmm. and you will be studying about the some other subject and next day we'll be discussing and we'll be explaining each other so we'll be saving our time and mm-hmm. studying simultaneously so my first year is completed now so we have one or two months of summer term summer mm-hmm. gap is there Yes. in that summer term two months we have taken full advantage of it i told to my friend like uh, it was 2021 by the way next year when our oh. first year was completed oh. and again that second lo- lockdown was there if you remember like in 2021 yeah. second lockdown yeah. was there which was one of the severe lockdown so mm. again we were like okay we are in chandigarh we will not go anywhere outside we will not go to the big malls chandigarh will not go for ghumna firna nahi karna padhai likhai karni hai एक yeah. बार जॉब लग जाएगी फिर करेंगे मस्ती जो भी करना राइट सो द गुड थिंग इज दैट इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट बिफोर आर थर्ड सेमेस्टर बिगिन आई गॉट प्लेस इन टू डिलॉइड एंड माई फ्रेंड गॉट गॉट प्लेस इन टू सम अनदर कंपनी इन जस्ट आफ्टर वन वीक ओनली वी बोथ गॉट प्लेस्ड एंड एवरीथिंग वर्क फाइन फॉर अस एवरीथिंग वॉट एवर वी हैड प्लान एवरीथिंग वर्क फॉर अस because your planning was so systematic you planned it and you consist you know consistency ke sath you worked on your plan aur yahi pata hai uh, this is the main problem mere sath bhi hota hai if i am working on something na ya us consistency ko maintain karna it's very difficult and you have maintained it it's difficult years two years you worked on it I have watched so many videos on youtube that how to switch career Uh-huh. Right? How to start in IT? How to study? Uh-huh. From where to study? What to study? Each and everything I searched on YouTube. So after watching all those things, I made my own plan. Ki, okay, those people have said this thing. So definitely, if ten people are saying that you have to study Java first, and mm-hmm. then you have to study Oops concept, and then you have to make projects on that, mm-hmm. then if ten people are saying the same thing, then definitely it is going to be a valid thing. So mm-hmm. you have to follow that simple thing. Everything is there on YouTube. If you go and search YouTube wisely. Hmm. other than that uh, memes or those cringe videos everything is good in youtube a lot of things are there in youtube so Correct. that is something youtube helped me a lot definitely youtube i i am saying that youtube was my first teacher hmm. 